Hey, this is Andy. I'm here with Bettina Korik, founder of ForYourArt.com. So, Bettina, uh, what can you tell me? What, what are the highlights so far this summer of art in L.A.? I think everyone's talking about the Art in the Streets show at MoCA and Tim Burton at LACMA, and it's a really interesting moment in LA that we have both of these exhibitions at two of our major museums and they're drawing in a lot of people and I think people are experiencing and discovering LACMA and MOCA because of those shows. Great um, and I I take it you've seen both shows. Yes. Um, what have you seen? Is there anything you've discovered at the museums as an aside? I love the Paul Tech exhibition at the Hammer. I think that's definitely worth going to see and it's I think open for a couple more weeks. I'm always, the best thing about art in LA is especially at, at any of the museums, you can really just kind of drop in and see what's on, what's on from the permanent collection. Like I encourage people to think of museums more as places to meet friends or just stop by and it doesn't necessarily need to be this like destination experience. Like you can go anytime. So. Do you think it, it's a good thing, um, all the events like they have in the summer at Hammer where you know KCRW will be involved and they'll have to bring music in? Absolutely. I think it's a great way to, to like figure out where to park and figure out what it's like to go to the museum. But I hope that people learn from that experience and see that it's really easy to go and stop by a museum anytime and it doesn't necessarily only have to be for an event. What are some new ways that you're seeing uh, people like step outside of the box to really introduce people to their art and to new projects? I think we're seeing more and more artist run spaces. We're about to put up a list on For Your Art of artist run spaces in LA. There's also a great book that came out that was called Dispatch LA that's an inventory of artist run spaces. So I think we're seeing more um, artists take matters into their own hands in that way. I also think that there's more web projects that are happening and you know, my friend Alex Israel just put up a series of videos that he made online. Like, things like that where, you know, how can you use the web and social media to get your work out there on your own? Great. Um, so are there, uh, so what are you excited for coming up later this summer and into the fall? Um, well, Pacific Standard Time is happening in October, which is a huge collaboration between over 60 arts organizations in Southern California. So I personally am really excited about that. There's never been an initiative this big where the Getty has invested in research that all pertains to post-World War II Los Angeles, and then to have all of these scholars be focused on one time period and telling the art history of LA and telling the story of how how LA came to be the hugely important cultural city that it's recognized as today. So that's going to be that's at the Getty. Is it at? It's all everywhere. Over? It's all over the place. It's from San Diego to Santa Barbara. So there's some people who are already kind of banding together and committing to seeing every exhibition. Wow. There's also a public art and performance festival that's taking place as part of that that's curated by Lori Furstenberg from LAX Art and Glenn Phillips from the Getty. And that'll be in January and that'll be another opportunity to see a lot of works restaged and represented and then they'll be archived so people can really kind of see them. Um, Emmy Fontana is doing a parade with Rickrit Teravenginia and Ardo Lindsay, and she's doing a huge call out to artists to give slogans, and you're going to be able to order a t-shirt and go participate in the parade downtown. I think that's on October 3rd, and there's a website for that that I'll send you. But that's another project that I'm really excited about. Great. So, um, I, we love how For Your Art is there as a resource, and um, it has all kinds of features and everything. What? Uh, how are you looking to grow the site? I mean, what are, what are you focusing on? For Your Art has been, thank you, I'm glad that you like it. Um, you know, For Your Art's really been a public service that we've done to help people get more information about what's happening in LA every week through the weekly email. And as we commit more to the website, I really want to provide information to people that helps them navigate the art community and learn more about supporting the art community and learn more about how they can become a part of the art community. One of the things that I love so much is it is there are there's so much scholarship taking place and there's so many 
writers and curators that you can become more connected to their practices and their studies. And Hans Ulrich Obrist is someone who I've become really passionate about following what he's doing, and I've learned so much because of it. And I think that, you know, the art world isn't just about collecting often expensive objects, it's also about learning and engaging, and it can be a gateway to all different disciplines. Artists have the most interesting interests, whether it's in science or literature or history, and it's this like constantly inspired context to find out about so many different things. So I hope that Foyer Art can be more of a resource for people to not only just know what's going on in LA, but to kind of find that um, inspiring context that they can delve deeper into. Great, sounds excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much.